It seems like these days, every time I turn on the TV, all I see is bloodshed and violence. And I only watch the Food Network. <laughs> Yet another wave of violent conflict erupted yesterday. Which brings me to another installment of... Crisis. In the middle, everywhere. Tonight, we begin in Libya, where U.S. and coalition bombing has caused collateral damage to CNN in Atlanta. Fox News has the full report from New York on the shocking events in Tripoli. Fox <coughs> News' Jennifer Griffin dishes the hummus. Jim? Yeah, what we've learned, actually, John, is from British sources. British fighter jets had seven missiles. They were, in fact, uh, going to be fired from tornado planes, fighter planes, onto that compound, but the mission had to be cut short because of the presence of CNN uh, television crews and Reuters journalists on the ground who had been taken to the site by the Libyan Ministry of Information. Some news crews decided to go, others, including our Steve Harrigan, did not go to the compound. Uh, they were concerned that they could be used as human shields. And Fox News refused. uses to be Gaddafi's human shield because they are already on retainer to the Koch brothers. <laughs> now, after being called out by Fox, CNN's Nick Robertson pathetically struck back on the situation, Wolf. For them to call this and say this was government propaganda to hold us there as human shields when they didn't even leave the hotel, the correspondent didn't leave the hotel to go and see for himself, is ridiculous. Ridiculous? Really, Nick? Jimmy, let me see that footage again. Okay, now freeze! What's that behind him? Up-res and enhance. Gaddafi! <laughs> and if Nick Robertson wasn't Gaddafi's human shield, why was it so easy for my graphics department to put his head in there? You think Gaddafi doesn't have that technology? Grow up. <laughs> of course Fox News reporter Steve Harrigan didn't go to the compound. Fox knew he'd be used as a human shield. So instead, Fox sent not a reporter with a camera. <laughs> okay? You send not a reporter with a camera. You don't risk on-air talent like Harrigan. This face is money. Okay? Mine too. This thing, this area right here. Got to protect the lens meat. But proof? These camera guys? I can send them all to their death. You've never missed them. Okay. I did, Dante, I didn't mean you. I didn't mean you, Dante. Okay? Okay? Just the other guys. Just the other guys. Alright? Are we, are we cool? Alright, good. Okay, but listen. Gaddafi's wet nurse, Nick Robertson, wasn't done smearing Harrigan. Steve Harrigan, the correspondent here, is somebody I've known for many years. I see him more times at breakfast than I see him out on trips with government officials here. A meow! Wow, get Lord Pricklepuss over here, a saucer of milk. Robertson, how dare you attack this good man? Just because you see him only at breakfast doesn't mean he's not risking his life. Do you know how much cholesterol those bacon and eggs have? There is no flat jacket for your heart. I will stay on this conflict, folks, as it unfolds. And I want to commend both Fox News and CNN for their courageous reporting on the fighting in Libya between Fox News and CNN. Okay, well, with that video, I just, I just was trying to get to the point of like old fighting in Libya. And, uh, well, the background on the Lib Libyan were, um, it started out with anti-government protesters because Gaddafi was in power for, four, for 43 years. And um, started with anti-government protests. Well, then it started. They started um, getting violent. Well, then Gaddafi uses used his military power to start start fighting back 
to the protesters. So in that point, it kind of um, I don't know, try, got against the anti-government protesters' freedom to protest and speech because he was trying to oppress them because he didn't really want to hear it because that's why they were protesting against him because of his bad ruling. And um, so, so with with that, it kind it kind of goes back into natural law too, because natural law it's kind of no government, and that's that's what the people wanted because they've been oppressed for so many so many years. They thought that if they didn't have that government setting, then it'd be okay. But but. Um, like back on September 11th when they bombed the embassy in Libya, it's even it, they tried to put in a temporary government, and it still wasn't working out very well. So even with that temporary government, they didn't really have much power against people, and the people are just you know just going violent over there with killing killing Gaddafi, you know. They're they're really happy about that because they have they have the ruler out of power, and um, and they were just trying they were trying to get their liberties back, which they thought they lost with him in power for so many years, and I, I believe with all those years they kind of lost sight of what what the government actually did for them. So when it's so when it's not there now, they. They're so out of, out of control, so they don't really know what they're going to do with themselves. Any questions? Mr. Baker? So again, uh, what's the, uh, what is the principle that you're trying to get across? Um, just the government that was trying to like take away the freedom of speech and and in that when the protesters fi and the rebels finally got power over, over the government they uh, it kind of brought out natural law because there wasn't really government and then when they tried try to put and then when they tried to put one in it's still everybody you know is kind of free free from themselves and even when it started started at the beginning it, it talked about how people were taking weeks and weeks off work and it kind of brought out that everybody was in their natural state, kind of like wild animals, per se. Okay, we need to... They do now, since they did overthrow Gaddafi and killed him. So, so they do have freedom of speech because they don't really have a government in place now. So they're... So they're literally doing whatever they want. So it really, they do have freedom of speech right now. They do now. Uh, you were saying that they were protesting, though. Yeah, they're protesting about against Gaddafi, which they were called anti-government pro protesters because Gaddafi was the government for 43, 43 years or such like that. And you referred to that as natural law. Does anybody uh, have any thoughts about? Is that actually something else? He, he referred to them then going into natural law. Anarchy. Well, it's it's certainly related to natural law and to anarchy, but yes, it's a uh, state of nature is uh, the thing that we've we've heard about. Natural law is uh, is uh, what you can have in the state of nature, but. <clears throat> but actually what you're referring to was the state of nature. Yeah. Any other questions or comments for Tyler?